This is my <clears throat> dollhouse deck. Still haven't come up with a name for the deck, but uh, Crimson Dollhouse, I guess. Let's see, so this is obviously <laughs> a couple turns into the game where I was able to put up my shield. I was able to get Crimson um, Bride out, Olivia out there, and uh, Forgotten Angel. So, you know, I gotta get that lifelink and flying, take all the advantage. I have a lot of flyers in the deck. I, I experimented with different types. I win. Um, I, I experimented with different types. There, there was a recording issue, which is why we're, we were at that point in the game. As you can see, my avatar was uh, the lion, Thanks Walker, instead of Olivia. So let's move on. Obviously, we go to the next game, so I had to try to fix that issue. <clears throat> so there's the proper avatar. Not exactly the best hand to keep, but I kept it anyway. So we'll see what happens. I got my shield, so that's always good. Get my shields up. Hopefully gets Ghost Band Dragon out there, so I can um, you know, obviously start building up mana. So I can play a lot of my big stuff. I was going to foretell, but I was like, no, take it back. I need to know what my opponent does. This is what uh, Valky is there for. There's four copies in the deck. The first copy of him you, you get, you want to look at your opponent's hand, and that helps you play play against your opponent, play, outplay them. But the funny thing about this match is, <sighs> you're about to see. This is the second time I, I went up against this strategy and lost. <laughs> It's a good combo, so how much I can do, as you can see, I'm at a disadvantage. At least I was able to see that I was at a disadvantage. <laughs> see, so about to see some epicness. This is the only reason I kept it, because it's like, others need to know about this. <laughs> they need to know that this can happen. Oh my god. If I had my board wipe and already foretold and had the white extra white mana to play it, that would have helped me make a comeback, but nah, don't have it. Best I could do is kill one, which is unfortunate. It already had attack power, and I'm already at four lives, so I had to take it down just in case. Maybe I might survive, but then this happened, it's like, huh? It's like three power, uh, just need one more power in this game, and it's like, up oh, there's the one more power. And the funny thing is, it was the same card. They played the card, then they flashback the card. And it's like, ah, that's how you got me there. And that was epic. <laughs> One of the quickest losses. Alright, so moving on. Next game. It's one of the few, you know, things that impressed me. Like, I, I'm not impressed by many things, because some stuff is just pretty basic. I, 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 ironically, I just been, I just been beating, uh, all rounds of epiphany. Just then to hear this get rather that people still want it banned, and it's like, okay, I don't like a challenge. I don't like to, to prepare for when someone does play it. You know, especially counter spell exists and, um. There's, like for me, I, I use, uh, one, of, one of the ways I survived the Aron's Epiphany strategy is um, the shield. So if you're, if you're playing white, as long as you have access to the shield, you're good. The birds ain't going to do no damage. <sighs> Any damage your opponent tries to do is going to be reduced. <clears throat> so again, Valky, straight to see what our opponent has. Typically, we're not only trying to see what's in their hand, we're also trying to steal something. Preferably something with that costs three mana, so we can turn into it next turn. And hopefully, it gives us an advantage. I think I, in this scenario, I get the uh, card. Let's skip through it because my point is just taking long. Um, let's see. So I, I get, I do get something, but of course he has con uh, the containment in his hand. So it's like, all right, well, as long as I'm forcing you to use your out on him instead of saving for uh, a major threat or something problematic. Because if he's wise, he'll try to save for something really, you know, something more problematic. Uh, 
but yeah, hornets tend to be a little slow sometimes. Right now, it looks like the app is acting slow, but it's like, alright, there's the contamination. You got two things I could foretold. So I foretold that. And I foretold this. Which is going to let me get my Valky back in the drop. So this is one of the interesting things about Valky, having Valky in the deck, or in any deck, is one, the Valky part, but also his, his Awakened part, his Planeswalker part, full control just turns the table around, so it's a really good part to have in general. So you see I bring it back, because I want to make sure I get to see my opponent's hand. Of course he plans to drop that. So I guess make sure he doesn't have access to that. Like I rather have it. <laughs> Things get out of control. We all know I got the board wipe. Now he does divine tendrils. Good for him. But at least this play caused him to play one turn behind. So now if I'm right, what I do is I, I just, I, I wait until he does drop the, uh, see, by knowing what's in his hand, I can, you know, plan ahead. Because right here, you know, I could have just board wiped and then waited a turn to, you know, start making plays. But then his big boy would have hit the field and it's like, ah, I would have liked to have hit that as well. So right here, I'm just waiting to see if he's going to bring it out, which I think he does. It's taking a while to get to that point. Yeah, he plays it. See, it's a 9-9. Nine, nine. And I saved my board wipes, so and I just got to blocks because, you know, don't... It's not necessary to take, you know, that one damage. And then, of course, I felt that that might happen. I mean, one, I could have looked at his hand and saw that that was going to happen. It's just like, see, it was a good idea that I did that. I blocked, so I would have took more damage. Saving life points is important. And I clear the board. He wasted his hand. So now... <clears throat> he has less cards to play with. So next turn, of course, I can... I can... Cre so I check my graveyard and see what I can bring back. Obviously, got my regent, so... That's definitely going to be something good to bring back. So here comes Olivia. Attack with her. Bring that best gate regent. I want to have to block something. Don't oh, want me to be strong. Let's just pass this because it's working with me now. It's like, it's like that was common sense to do that. With bunk heads. But logically, he should have blocked her, pumped up, killed her, because she dies, Regent dies. So that was a bad play on his part. Or her part, whoever I'm playing against. <laughs> Looks like Liliana versus Olivia. The battle begins. So she she chose to leave the bride alone. That was her mistake. So I get more mill, right? So I do the eccentric farmer. So I'm trying to get more big stuff in the drop. I epically failed on that. <laughs> um, but at least I got a land. And my point is scoops. Yay! Um, good game. That was funny. Um, but yeah, so close to getting something else. And of course, every time I could just keep bringing us, um, something back. I just gotta mill it. it would be nice in the deck is if I had something that, that mills. Where I can mill myself. That isn't creature based. That way I can always get it. I can just keep milling. Or at least something that lets me drop cards into the drop on purpose. That'd be kind of cool. So I can put what I want in the drop on purpose. And then, uh, you know, dollhouse it. Or Olivia it. So, as you can see, setting up my return upon the tide. So this is just a, you know, just an inherent reanimation. Animation deck. I only have two doll houses. 
<coughs> two Olivias, and I have four Return Upon the Tide, so <coughs> I only have eight reanimation cards. But two, but you know, two, you know, but four of them are reusable, which is Olivia and uh, the Dollhouse. Just wanted to creep. Because the thing about Dollhouse is that it brings stuff back weaker, sometimes with less effects. But Olivia brings them back with the full power. So, they both serve a similar purpose. <coughs> so here I'm trying to slow out play my opponent. Trying to get him to, to tap out. All right, there he goes. Bang. Trying to get value out of his cards. Alright. Oh, yeah. This reminds me. <laughs> a replay, a uh, uh, misplay is going to happen soon. Oh, that's going to piss me off. Check my grave to see if I have anything uh, Olivia can bring back, and there's nothing there yet. So it's like, okay, I need to get something there. So if I play something, they counter it, then I have something for uh, Crimson Bride when when I get her out there. I definitely want to try to get rid of that creature. So I go for the Phoenix. Um, he counters. I can afford to play to pay for it. So pay for it. Sorry. Now learn. I think I get necro necrotic. Yeah, I get necrotic fumes. Attack. Get that treasure. I think this is the match where I lo lose, right? I lost this one. It's that misplay. So, yep, because this is where he takes feature. Pretty sure misplay. But still, I have nothing in the graveyard for Olivia. But here I go playing Olivia. To play the Crimson Bride with nothing in the, the graveyard to play. Um, yeah, so really messed up with the Olivia. Don't make the mistake I missed. It, I did. Because for some reason I was thinking I was going to get something back. Originally I was supposed to have side of field when I dropped Olivia, so I, I had. Yeah. But. I misplayed that because I could have. There's so many things I could have done. Obviously, I could, I could have doom scarred, and then used the re return upon the tide to bring back uh, Olivia. Right, and used her to bring back Ghostman Dragon. Ghostman Dragon would gave me tokens. Um, would have been able to deal eight damage, and I would have just been one extra turn away from going for game. Plus, I would have had tokens, and I had the fume in my hand. So, I played that terribly. Just by playing Olivia, which is unfortunate to say that playing the Crimson Bride was the reason why. That and I didn't realize that I only had nine life. Like, oh, nine life, and he has enough to kill me. Whoops. Uh, stuff happens. I tend to try to be, tend to try to play fast. Like, some people wouldn't know, but I tend to try to. Like how in chess they have the concept speed chess, right? Well, I try to speed duel, so I try to do fast, try to make decisions faster, pre-plan stuff. That's why I think, like, if my point's taking long for the turn, I think of like all my next, like, at least try to think of my next two turns. What I'm gonna do next turn? What I'm gonna do a couple turns from now? How the game is gonna go and how is it gonna end? While I'm waiting for my opponent to finish their turn, and on my turn I just 
speed right through uh, my plays, right? Obviously, the goal is to play properly, right? To play the right plays, not misplay. Um, I forgot to check my graveyard. I mean, logically, I didn't need to bring out Crimson right yet. She was, she was good when I was when I'm definitely in the game. Right there was a snare with my plant. Took my gold span, so that's that's a situation where I should have gotten rid of clear the board. That's what the board was. Doom Scar is for, right? So I'm going for the milling, because I do have my return upon the tide. So I get I wanna get that um active. I get one more land, I can put up my shield. I didn't. That's a problem. I have to fix my land issue. I use poison and cup for toll to uh Okay, so in this scenario, what I thought was instead of using for uh, the foretold, right, which will take me one turn longer to try to manipulate the top card of my deck to get land, I'll just stall, right? Kill the creature, that's just stall. I'm only taking, it's only one damage I'm taking, right? And I got a land, so it's like, boom. And there's a white land on top of that, which is great. That's great from Loom Sky. But now let's put up the shield. So that will take care of the flyer. So I keep my defense. All right, so <clears throat> we have four mana, so I just need one more land, and I'll be able to easily play my board wipe. So now I got to block. <laughs> Definitely can't be taking damage. So, gotta take it as little damage as possible. Yeah, this this, this match is really long. Let me speed through some of this stuff because it's you know obviously my point's taking too long to play. So I survive. Let me go back for a second. Just see how it, this part played out. See, man, took long just to just to play that out. All right, so <laughs> not much, right? Just took very little damage. No, he has trampling. Now I can board wipe just for five. Bang. He still has some artifacts equipped over there, so that's going to be a, a bit of a problem. Brings that out. Equips that. So, of course, I got to put out my uh, Forgotten Angel. Got to take, got to gain some life and take less damage. So, right now, I'm just trying to stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Ah, ah, ah. Stay alive. <laughs> Good. I came in tapped, so hopefully that, you know, lets me stay in a little bit longer. He foretold something. Probably a Doom Scar. <laughs> Can't think of any anything red that needs to be foretold. <laughs> he has white, so could, could be a Doom Scar. <coughs> <coughs> He survived. I didn't expect him to survive that. <laughs> Definitely expect him to be dead. Dead. Um. So I'll bring back my Night Hawk. Go in and gain some life. And since he's red, obviously he will have like burn spells and stuff like that. So it's good that I have shield up. To protect me from burn spells. So you bring something back. I'm just waiting for him to do the equip. 
got more lands, which is good. Now I can start doing the dollhouse stuff. But I could just obviously just play that and just bring that back. So it'd be at full power. So it's, it's one of two options. Go for the big boy. We all know I could bring it back, so that's not. So the dollhouse will be coming down soon. Because right now, the god of battle has hit the fray. He's going to be a problem. Good thing my Nighthawks have Death Touch. Life Link. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. He survived. I got my death touch. Sorry, just now reason. So I was able to bring him back. So now So the funny thing is now I got a death touch engine if I if I do it right. I have a lot of life, so I can take a uh, 14 damage, so that's what I do. I just take it. I'm not going to let my little engine go to waste. Because if I block with my fo Forgotten Angel, I'd be screwed. So I take the 14. So it's like now the dollhouse. Time to put it online. I only have two in the deck, so you see I drew both. I bring this back because I need to fill up the drop with some good stuff. Hopefully, I get lands instead. Only lands, like damn. But at least I get a land drop. So, the, so the idea here would be to, you know, obviously try to gain some life back. So, go in, gain some life, bang, keep my two uh, Nighthawks up, just in case he has something. Up his sleeve to get rid of one of my night hawks so he has to have the other one. The idea is for me to obviously use it as a blocker. And with Forgotten Angel, get it, get the Nighthawk back. Uh, now of course he got double strike. So, so I go for the double block. Let's see what happens. Which are pretty good. So they regain some extra life by doing that. That happened. <laughs> so at least I was able to get rid of them. Um, and that's another thing about the Forgotten Angel is that anything that dies while it's on the field, it gets uh, warped. It gets sent to the, you know, exile. So it's like, yes. And then I got both of them back. Thing is, I don't have enough black mana to play both. So I can only play one at a time. When I did this, I was not able to play a Nighthawk. I tried to, and it's like, oh no, I don't have enough black. Oh, damn. I only have enough black mana f just to play one at a time. So, look at the drop, see if there's anything I can bring back at least. So, it's like, alright, well then I'll just play the next dollhouse, because I got nothing else to play. And it's like, uh, I doubt my opponent's going to do too much. So, I'll go in, gain some life. Because you see, he's at 50, so he has a lot of life. It's like, hmm, very fortunate that here. So then he goes for this. Doesn't pay, so he gets he gets defeated. He should have should have paid. I don't know if it would do five. He should have paid. I guess he was a misclick on his part, so that benefited me. That he, you know, human error. So then I go for the board wipe, which probably wasn't necessary at all, but hey, <laughs> definitely would have been better to save it. <clears throat> so 
so it equips more land, not extra black land. So I try to play this, but still, still one black land short. So it's like. So now it's time to bring back the Forgotten Archangel. So I can get the loop back up and running. Gain a little bit of life real quick. So of course I block. Good thing is I still retain the abilities of the for, uh, Forgotten Archangel. Which is handy. I'm slowly chipping at my opponent's life. He just keeps on bringing on threats after threats after threats. But they have a little engine to keep getting rid of them, but only so much you can do. There's an attack this time. Play another Nighthawk. This time, I'm just trying to get more life faster. I replace the token with the actual Forgotten Archangel himself. Just in case my opponent has a has a way to kill it, I could always bring it back with the dollhouse. Plus I can gain more life with the real version than the token. So it's gonna take a little while. Bang. So that plays out. I get my Nighthawk back. I got Ghost Span, so now I could Ghost Span and Nighthawk. So I get the token. So I go in, do a lot of damage. Token, bring out the Nighthawk. With the treasure token. Or not. Oh yeah, I didn't use the black mana for the, for the Ghost Span. At least I have the black mana for later on, just in case. Good thing I had that Nighthawk to block with. I can keep this engine going. Oops, sorry. All right. I was wondering why he didn't burn, but it's like, oh yeah, because I exiled the card. So, that actually prevented it from burning for 4 damage to, to a target. Boom. GG. Guess he doesn't want to continue the battle, because...